hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of coming across my channel please just do me the favor and hit the subscription button thank you so much so um some days back um there was a, a post on x that is a former twitter a lady that goes by the name oap without a platform that's if at if AGK made a post, you know, reporting about a, a guy who was calling her, you know, thinking that he is calling her daughter because um, they, she went to buy or register her daughter for jump, you know, and the guy that the jump staff now went into the system, stole the daughter's phone number, not knowing it is the mom's own, and was chatting the mother, thinking that he is chatting the girl. So this is the way the woman reported it. So he, she went on to say, I don't know what goes on in the head of Nigerian men that makes them. So <laughs> took Jaya to the CBT center to register for jams today. I used my number to set up her profile. And now one of the staff from the center is chatting me up thinking I'm Jaya. So now before I go ahead, I want to address something I, will, I want to correct an impression this lady is making here so um so she now wrote i don't know what goes on in the head of nigerian men that makes them so so general this one has already generalized nigerian men as being what he called them which is wrong which is totally wrong he, he she shouldn't have used nigerian men he she should have used some nigerian men so saying Nigerian men that makes them look so whatever she called them is totally wrong, which means she has included her husband, her father, her brothers and relations, uncles and all that are all that name he, she called them, which is wrong. She should have used the name or she should have used some Nigerian men that, you know, what makes them to be what the name she called them. So that is that. So let's continue. So. After she made this report, so she wrote another thing saying that, LOL, this guy is committing so many criminal offenses at once. It's crazy. He's still chatting, he's still chatting me. He says he's, he got my number from the system after she registered and left because he couldn't help himself. Jam, where are my daughter's data protection rights? So this is very, very wrong. Honestly, Jam should do something about it of which they said that they will do something about it well the, th the news there is that the guy has been arrested because I, I just want to i just want to start from the beginning for you to understand why that guy was arrested so that guy that did this has been arrested yesterday by by police so after this lady made this um post jam responded by saying this let me just read what they wrote so listen to what jam wrote they said uh, if ye alias madam dial madam dial a pot thank you for this information the board as a regulatory agency does not condone any form of unwholesome practice that will bring its integrity to disrepute. You can rest assured that your words information on our database is safe and intact. They went further to say, and the culprit and his accomplices will be decisively brought to book. Kindly DM the details of the CBT center and the phone number or in question for further investigation or visit any Jambo office nearby to lodge a formal complaint so but before this response there was a, there's another thing i missed the lady also posted uh, the series of chats the boy had with her so let me just read it out for you so this is the conversation he had with the she had with the guy from jump so um he started by saying how old do you think i am that the lady is asking the guy so the guy now say okay she responded I'm only allowed to chat with boys from my school. Well, another, another response was, I don't know. That's why I asked. So um, the guy now said, definitely this is the chat she must not see. You see, the guy is telling the girl or the lady that this is the chat your mom should not see because it, the girl has already told him that she is only allowed to chat with boys from her school. And the guy responded by saying, definitely this is the chat she must not see. So the guy now say he is 22. So the lady now said, I am 15, or I'm sure you already knew that. The guy now say, yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm helping my mom make dinner. I'll chat when I get back to my room. 
the guy now say, all right, baby girl. You see, you don't, you don't really done the toaster move. All right, baby girl. Text me when you are in your room, you get. So there was a missed call from the guy. So this was how the chat ended. So my happiness is that the guy has been brought to book. You know, she, he has been arrested. Yesterday, the news broke that he has been arrested. So let me just uh, read down the story for you to get more insight on the arrests. So here is the story according to how um, Punch newspaper reported it. Jam arrests CBT center operator accomplice over chats with 15-year-old candidate. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board has arrested a CBT center operator and his accomplice for engaging in inappropriate communication with a 15-year-old exam candidate. The alleged misconduct came to light when the candidate's mother, who had used her phone number for the registration process, began receiving inappropriate messages on her phone shortly after the registration. The concerned mother identified as Ifye expressing her grievances on her ex account, accused Jam of negligence and inadequate data security, leading to an official investigation. According to the mother's statement, the CBT manager assessed the phone number from the registration form and initiated a text conversation, mistakenly assuming he was uh, mistakenly assuming he was communicating directly with the candidate. Despite being made aware of the teenager's age, the individual reportedly persisted in messaging and advised and advised that the communication be kept confidential. Honestly, I don't know what goes in the head of this guy. This this girl is 15 years for crying out loud. What on earth will make you to have affection for a 15-year-old girl? You don't even think of the implications. You don't even think, okay, if this girl had reported me to my mom, what would happen? Now, you've, you have mistakenly chatted with the mother and the thing has blown open and you are now arrested. So let me continue. Speaking to journalists after the arrest, the ICT consultant for JAMP, Damilola Bamiro, in a video shared by, by Channel TV on Thursday said, Today, based on the social media report that has gone around where a mother complained that her 15-year-old daughter was being approached by a staff of one by a staff of one of our CBT centers, and immediately we got that information, we swung into action. We identified the center, and since our system identifies who has registered a candidate, we were able to apprehend both the person that registered the candidate and the person that approached the minor. We have we have them in custody already. Just to assure Nigerians that Jam will always swing into action whenever any case against any candidate is reported. So the news ended there. So I'm so happy that the guy has been brought to book so that others will use it. We will learn a lesson from, from this singular act. How can you just steal a database? Go to database and steal somebody's number and start to send the girl. What do you want to achieve? Now look at where you have landed yourself. You know, but I can see, again, concerning the word that woman used, Nigerian men, I can see the thing is generating a lot of buzz on Twitter. And the lady is not even taking correction. That's the problem. It's true that what happened to your daughter is very, very wrong. But you cannot, because of it, and generalize that all men are what you call them. That is very, very wrong, which means your husband is among your brothers, your uncles, your father. They are all among. At least before, even, even no matter how angry we are, we should watch the way we talk, you know, so that you will use your hand goes for your your case anyway thank you so much for listening and don't forget to like my video and also subscribe to my channel thank you and have a wonderful day